Hi guys, if you don't already know me, my name is Abby Butler and I am the owner of This Is Me Boutique. And we sell a clothing line called Piffany, which is a newer brand with less than 2,000 stylists. So it's this amazing ground floor opportunity with these very high trend, in style uh, fashions that they come out with tons of new stuff all the time. So it's a very fun and exciting opportunity and clothing line that we are just so amazed and thankful to be a part of. So I want to hop on real quick and talk a little bit about what I made with my last company and what I make now doing Piffany for only two and a half months. Now I will say this isn't an income claim. I'm not going to say this is how much you're going to make. I just want to compare what I did make with my last company, which was LuLaRoe, and what I make now with Piffany. So to give you a little background, uh, I, I'm a stay-at-home mom with two boys. They are three and two, but my oldest is going to be four soon. Um, I do my business full-time. I have an amazing husband who's always behind the scenes helping us out, and he's my photographer. Um, and we've just been having a lot of fun doing this. We did LuLaRoe for about two years. It was a wonderful opportunity for us. We learned so much, and we had a lot of fun. And then January of this year, we about two and a half months ago, we switched to this new line called Piffany. So with LuLaRoe, if you're not familiar with that business model, I'll just give you a quick summary. You buy the clothing wholesale. They get shipped to you, and you have to store all the clothing and then you sell it at retail and it's about a 50% profit margin from your wholesale to your resale which sounded great that's one of the um, things that really attracted us to LuLaRoe in the beginning was that was a great profit margin for us so with Piffany it's a 25 to 35% commission it is not a retail wholesale retail type of sales if that makes sense we sell the clothing and then we get a commission it's 25% at the very bottom like that's the minimum you'll make on your pieces and it only goes up to there it goes all the way up to 50% if you grow a team but for this video we'll just do the 25 to 35 percent so that was actually a big concern for me um, coming from a company where I had a 50% profit margin going to a commission-based company where I was only going to be getting 25 to 35%. Um, but we really had to look into what is our profit. So we sat down and we're getting ready for our taxes. Again, we did LuLaRoe for two years. I was a cruise qualifier with LuLaRoe, so we earned a free cruise, my husband and I, which was amazing. Um, and I believe that was the top, don't quote me on these numbers, I believe cruise qualifiers were the top, five to three percent of the company for sales so when we looked at our numbers for last year we had nearly six digits in sales which was amazing we were so proud of that like that was for a stay-at-home mom I was so impressed but then we started looking at how much did I spend on inventory how much did I spend on programs like my shipping program and my text alert program and all these other and my inventory photo program all these other subscription based programs that we were using to help us run our business we started looking at well, how much is unsellable how much is sitting on a rack set it's been sitting there for two years and we can't sell it how much should we have to give away how much do we have to donate and we started looking at our expenses versus how much we made and it, this was the shocker for us we broke even. We didn't make anything. In that whole year last year, we did not make anything. We broke even. Our sales numbers and our expenses numbers, the same. So even though I was so excited about this 50% profit margin, it didn't really end up being that. And one of the biggest things for us is that we realized is it's a 50% margin if you sell 100% what's in your box. Now as a cruise qualifier, I never sold 100% of what was in my box. It really never happened for me. And we would sell a lot, of course, but we would always have things that would sit around or that we would have to discount or that we'd have to give away. And that automatically cuts into that profit before you even start taking out all the other expenses. So for us, last year was a wash. Now with Epiphany, we've been doing this for two and a half months and we don't have the expenses. We don't store the clothes. Uh, we use we get samples like what I'm wearing is Epiphany this is my samples and then I show my customers online 
And when they place an order, it goes to Epiphany's warehouse and they store the clothes. They ship the clothes to our customers for free. So there's no shipping expenses either. Uh, and they handle all that. They handle the returns. They handle the damages. All the stuff that I was doing before that was cutting into my profit margin, it's now out of my hands. And they just cut me my commission. First month we did Epiphany, I hit that 35% commission. And that was huge for me. That was really huge. But what was really eye-opening for me to see is in two and a half months, I've profited more with Epiphany than I did with my last business. So again, this was just kind of like an aha moment for me when we sat down and looked at our taxes from last year and then looked at what we're doing this year. I didn't really realize how much work I was doing for little to no money before and how now I'm doing so much less work but I'm profiting more so if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to me I'm happy to talk about my experiences um, how I transitioned to this company how you can start if you want or if you want to shop this new top that's coming out tomorrow you're more than welcome to come join our group and come see what all the fun is about but if you have any questions just let me know I'm always here to chat and I hope this kind of helped you and maybe inspired you to look at your current business and say how much am I really making with this is this profitable or am I just spinning my wheels and working for nothing? But have a great night, ladies.